In 1350, what we know as the idyllic French countryside was a living hell. For more than 15 years, the people had suffered at the hands of English invaders. Little did they know that this war would last for another 100 years. But through this crucible of fighting, famine and plague, there would emerge the modern nation of France. England's King Edward III looked jealously across the English Channel. Wanting France for his own, he had added the fleur de lis, the symbol of France, to his own royal standard. This was an all-out declaration of war. And in 1337, he invaded. But France already had a king, Philippe VI. As the English burned their way across the land, Philippe's army and his legendary knights marched to meet them and came face to face with the English longbow. A simple weapon, but the most devastating the knights had ever faced. The heroes of France fell to storms of English arrows. The war engulfed the French countryside. By 1351, the conflict was focused on Brittany. One fight stands out as a spectacular display of chivalry and a symbol of the wider conflict between the two enemy nations. The combat of the Thirty is still commemorated here in Brittany. It was a dispute between two local families. Supported by the opposing sides in the war, the French and English commanders decided to settle it through a trial of knightly combat. Each side would choose 30 champions to fight on neutral ground. France prepared to defend itself against England's finest. Intent on ending the suffering of the French peasantry, Sir Jean de Beaumanoir sent a challenge to the English commander. 30 champions on each side would compete in a tournament for final claim to Brittany. With the battleground of the halfway oak agreed upon, Sir Jean set out to gather support from local knights. As a knight himself, Sir Jean followed the strict rules of chivalry and was expected to protect the local peasantry and ensure peace. Most medieval tournaments were friendly in nature, held for sport and glory, but the combat of the Thirty was arranged between opponents mired in war. English raids had torn through the countryside of Brittany and brought great hardship to the people. Sir Jean spotted an English raiding party attacking a nearby farmstead. 
French knights defeated the English raiders, and Sir Guy de Rochefort joined Sir Jean's party. Sir Jean's search next brought him to Sir Geoffroy Dubois whose squires were contending with a detachment of English longbowmen. The knights would use the great speed of their war horses to charge the archers and overwhelm them. The English longbowmen fell, but the French knights knew the enemy would attempt to retake the hilltop fortification and steeled themselves for further attacks. With Sir Geoffroy by his side, Sir Jean had secured the outpost. Looking to secure his honor, a young knight held his ground on a bridge in Sir Jean's path. Honorably conceding defeat in the duel, Sir Yves Charel joined the cause. Oh, 
Vector Snos sans l'avouer. So Jean entered the staging area for the tournament, where he prepared to choose which knights would join him in battle. Each knight would be accompanied by his squires, young nobles in training to become knights themselves. So Jean had selected his champions. As the sun rose, the two sides entered the arena, ready for the first round of combat. Claiming an easy victory in the first round, the French champions left the arena to recover their strength. Si fais vos commandements et comprends. Refreshed and reinvigorated, the French knights return to the arena for another round of combat. The combat of the Thirty was about to decide which nation would control the Duchy of Brittany. Triumphant, Saint Jean de Beaumanoir and his loyal knights claimed victory. The combat of the Thirty had decided control of Brittany in favor of the French. Little did the two sides know, this was just the beginning of a bitter war that would outlive them all.
In 1350, what we know as the idyllic French countryside In the Hundred Years' War, the English used a terror tactic, a raid through enemy territory intended to intimidate and provoke the French into battle. It was called Chevauché. The principal weapon for Chevauché was fire. And one of the ways it was delivered was with incendiary arrows. Challenge with incendiary arrows? Keeping them alight. One type of incendiary arrow was fueled with gunpowder. You've got charcoal, got sulfur, and we've got saltpeter. Saltpeter is the main ingredient. The more oxygen you put into it, the hotter it burns. Of course, when it's on an arrow, when it's being shot, you've got a turbocharged airstream. The chemicals are bound together with brandy, left to dry and poured into a linen bag. The extra long arrowhead is inserted into the bag and then tied off to secure it. It is then sealed by dipping it into boiling tree resin. This resin, which itself is highly flammable, provides a waterproof casing. It also shields the burning gunpowder so the wind doesn't put it out in flight. Now that looks deadly and I really want to shoot it. The art to shooting an incendiary arrow is timing. Too early and it will go out. Too late, it will spit at you like a dragon. That was just evil. <laughs> that was great. The word chevauché means horse raid, and it was mobile light horsemen who spearheaded the attacks. They took gold and silver from the churches, valuables from wealthy citizens, and as much food and drink as they could find from anyone. A chevauché was scorched earth warfare to create discontent amongst the enemy's subjects perhaps even to get them to turn against their king. An army on campaign needed a decisive battle. And a chevauché was intended to taunt the enemy to come out and fight. After victory at the combat of the 30, the French faced devastating raids from England's Black Prince. But France's King Jean II was closing in. Jean finally caught the English near the city of Poitiers in September 1356. The French army outnumbered the English by thousands. King Jean himself joined the fight, but what seemed a certain victory for France soon turned into a nightmare. The English longbow devastated the mighty French army. An endless hail of arrows gutted the main French force. Then the English captured King Jean. The fight was over. The Battle of Poitiers was another catastrophic defeat for the French. The English had destroyed most of France's nobility in a single day. Now they turned their attention towards taking the French capital, Paris. The invaders marched unopposed towards Paris. The remains of some of the medieval walls of Paris still stand today. As the English army approached, the terrified locals sought shelter behind these defences. Could France's capital withstand the full might of the Black Prince's army?
The English Black Prince had raided the French countryside without mercy. And now, his army had come for the capital. With the English on their doorstep, it fell to the French army and the people of Paris to defend the walls of their proud city. Hoping to avoid open battle, the French began fortifying the city, manning the walls and calling every available soldier to his post. As the French hastened their preparations, Several detachments of English soldiers were spotted closing in on the city. The English showed no mercy, burning their way to Paris via three routes, each of which was home to villages and farms that supplied the capital. Oh, 
The French continued to rally their army. The English took the last of the surrounding villages and had almost encircled Paris. With the countryside in flames and the English at the city gates, the French army steeled themselves for battle. Now came the capital's true test, with the mighty walls of Paris hold against a fearsome English siege. The Parisian guard raised the alarm as the English began their first assault on the city walls. Although the walls of Paris had been breached, the French could still hold the city, so long as its mighty landmarks did not fall. The French army fought valiantly, repelling the first English attack. Manance! Les guerres puissantes, Manance! 
Que Bali va se dire Archer, prenez Archer en avoué. Access Fed France, compagnie plus suisse, votre serveur. Avant, compagnon. Manans, prêt à ouvrir. La cette moi exploité. Manans, est-ce que mi? Oh, me fa ou trai. Oyez tout le monde. Oyez les ordonnances. Je veux Samen Meriels. Accordé. Adertan, tout le monde. Tous de Yala Oyez. Vaillez moi besoin. Long temps bâti. Compagnon, allons, un pareil. Ok, je s'y veille. Oh Appareillement en train.
The French defense of their capital held firm, wearing down the English invaders one by one. Que faut-il donc reste pour la besogne, Manance? Compagnon, veici les commandements. Donnez-moi vos habits. J'exploite les réparements. Je vais rapparier ce manoir. Les chevaux de chance, les scouts, les couettes, vos arouets. Chivalière, c'est ce que nous avons fait. Tout avance, vous rentiez, et qu'est-ce que vous avez fait Un test de ça, comme vous avez fait. Or, Alban, vous avez fait. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Si, come on! Oh yeah, it's too 
demande. Alors, Batich, c'est... Page Page un pied là Manœuvre Lors ce bâti, je sais que j'ai Les voix de ce commande, avant. The enemy grew ever more desperate as their ranks thinned and their hopes of victory faded. Arbalestre, comme il vous plaît. Besoin à faire. Lots Batige s'estuie. Sur quoi me faut-il traiter Je vole, j'y vois, comme peignons. Ten stars Nos découvertes qui sonnent. Comme vos plaies. Et ici, les portes de mal. Comme peignons, nos alors. Voyez, tu viens. Comme peignons, oui. Arbalestre, pas. Arason. Que faut-il donc besoin Je suis sans voix. Access Petsford. Et ici, les Alons. À part mail. English army began burning the great Parisian landmarks. The French were running out of time to expel the enemy from their city.
Attendez les pour vostre obéir, certes. Quoi sont vos comme chestnuts? Obelest au col. Avant. Quoi sont? Allons de vers di quitore. Somos on ordinance. Besoin de nos attentes. Ayez moi besoin. Obelest. Je vous amène Meriens. Oyez les ordonnances. Je vais aller bastir. Je vous oyez tous le monde. Dostia l'oreille. Jets met vos habillements avant au Belestier. Soleil. Au Belestier. Au Belestier. Avant. Allons. Besoin ni affaire. Que va aller bastir? Que faut-il donc besoigner Lors de bâtir, je sais ce tuer. A où de l'estier A point de l'estier, de l'estier, pareil. S'y veille. Avant, au de l'estier. Pénoï. A où de l'estier Avant. Allons. Au belestre, au belestre, une seule trouille à Barmey. A chestmates must au belestre. Chevalier, si comme vous voudrez. Attendez. Si. 
Defeated and demoralized by the strength of the French defense, the Black Prince's army abandoned their siege of the capital. Paris celebrated victory, but this was not the last test the French would face in their struggle to win the war. The battlefields of the Hundred Years' War were full of danger. To defend against these weapons, a new type of armor was developed. Plate armor. Plate armor clad the knight in an articulating exoskeleton of hardened steel. A hard outer shell that still flexes and moves with the body. It provided impressive protection and was an extraordinary technological achievement. Now one of the ways that armor gets its strength is through shape. Both of these pieces are made out of the exact same thickness as steel, but I can show you there's one stronger than the other. Here's the one with no shape. You see it buckles immediately. If I swap it for one that's been forged to have strength and shape, you can see it's much stronger. It's going nowhere. It wasn't just the shape that gave it strength. It was also how the metal was treated by the armorer. Now, the benefits of using heat is it obviously makes the piece more plastic, more ductile, lets me shape it. But the fuel also adds layers of carbon into the outer surface. This helps me increase the hardness and the strength of the material. The art of the armorer was being able to judge the temperature of the metal by eye, managing the heat to create resilience in the metal. The combination of heat-treated metal and rigid shapes meant that armor didn't need to be so thick and heavy, making it much easier to fight in. But good quality plate armor did have its downside. It was very expensive. Now, not everyone could afford full steel plate armor. For the common man, there is a brigandine. Now, these are made up of overlapping steel plates that are then riveted through a textile outer. This gives you a much bigger range of movement, but is limited and is not as strong as a full steel breastplate. That said, it is much cheaper and much easier to maintain. At its best, the armored knight was invincible. But armor didn't just provide defense. It was also a weapon and an expression of a knight's power and prestige. Armor transformed its wearer into a work of art. The walls of Paris held out against the English onslaught. 
England's King Edward and the Black Prince abandoned the siege. They marched towards Chartres to try their luck at conquering a less formidable target. But before they could attack, a violent storm hit the army. killing a thousand English soldiers in a tempest of hail and freezing winds. To Edward, this Black Monday disaster seemed like divine retribution. A sign that it was time to stop waging war and make peace with France's King Jean. But even as peace between kings was reached, the people of France were still living in bloodshed and turmoil. Between 1358 and 1370, France was in chaos. Peasant uprisings, rampaging bands of mercenaries, and civil war ravaged the country. Peasants rose in rebellion, killing their lords and wreaking havoc. Mercenary bands also roamed the land. Known as Routier, they had once been hired by the English to fight against the French, but were cut loose when peace was reached. They systematically ravaged and pillaged towns across France. And with King Jean prisoner in England, his son Charles the Dauphin faced homegrown attacks on his rule by powerful French lords, beset from all sides. The Dauphin's forces had to regain control over their own country. Having only recently been crowned King of France, Charles V dispatched his army to the French-held village of Evreux to forge order from chaos. From here, the army would move to extinguish three major threats. Bands of roving mercenaries harrying the countryside, a peasant uprising, and attacks from a rival for the French crown, Charles of Navarre. The French army would start by reclaiming the rebel-held villages of Cocherel, Jouy, and Coissy. Labour Speranz, Paratz pour la Boura. Labour Speranz, Lire Faccio. Resti toi. Quoi, mais? Resti toi. Lire Faccio. Paratz pour venir. Labour, mandez quid? Labour. Quid labour? Laborans in limans. Si inerans, swam 
mois de mars. Squid, mais... Sur mois de mars. Mande Squid. As the French army struggled to regain control of the countryside, they were struck by a band of English routiers. These mercenaries had been cut loose by the English army and were plundering the countryside in order to make a living. French forces eliminated the routier attack, but more were still raiding the countryside in search of provisions and riches. The routier demanded payment from the French, or they would continue their horrifying raids. Attention. Si, comprendo. Cuidamos. La bourse Speranza. Yo me sono la cose. Tutti audite. Chez les mains de main. Parades pour la bourra. Posez ses parades pour la bourra. Si sommet. La bourse pérate pour venir. Va de la bourra. Quoi de la bourre Retournons comme si sommet. Si, comprenons. 
Toutes ce dit, Thames des retournards. Mmh. C'est coupe matériel. Parax pour la bourra. Caval, oye, oye. Cavalo ici. Cum grande course. Audite militaires. Si sommes. Parade pour la bourre. Pour venir. Cause et serre. Quoi mais? Va de la bourre. La bourre Spérance. Va de la bourre. Quand est-ce qu'on? Yo ma sono la. La bourre Spérance. Cause et serre ma sonate. Quoi de la bourre? Non la bourre. Cause et serre ma sonate. Benefit. Et tu lui manques de bottes. C'est coup matéria. Escolte bene. Yo ma sono la coupe de la bourre. Colonnes, parade cette France. Va de la bourra. Come on. 
Chito. Saquitas, pisas. Vene, audite. Audite. Si est. Tourma. Arrière, pas. Van de Squid, ici va tost. Io ma sono la cosa. Sagita in arco. Parat pour venir. Io ma sono la cosa. Parat pour la bourra. Parates, c'est un bécio. Il avance, c'est un bécio. Ah, ok. Sonata. Cos'è sarà una sonata? Vai, vai. Io una sonata così. 
Madonna pourra. Tout sonité. Cosé sera maçonnata. Yo maçonne la cause. Que m'en Buon lavoro. Buon Parates, Servientes, Sier. the village of Chouy, the French army was closer to stemming the peasant rebellion and regaining control. The central monastery town of Cocherel would continue to send out rebel attack parties to weaken the French army. Audite, allons-y. Parates, ambulance. Demande, vado. Parates, serviettes. The village of Poissy, rich in gold deposits, was a crucial town for the French to reclaim. In avant, serviettes. Veniez, servientes. Non mogu.
The French army defeated the rebels at Croissy and took control of the gold-rich village. The central monastery town of Cocherel was still under the control of rebel peasants. The French army would have to take it before they could launch an assault on Charles of Navarre. The French paid off the routier and were free of further raids. Escolte bene, comme il trinca. Toots audit. Vado la bourra. Toots audité. Vado la bourra. Parate, entendo. Nabour. Parates, servientes. Obedio. Parates, servientes. In avant, servientes. In ayuda! Audite. In avant, servientes. Obedio. Allons-y. Parate. Servientes. 
Ambulance. Homes, préparate. Allons-y. Audience. Parate. Odite. Venez, servientes. Bene, bene. Parates, servientes. Entendo. Homes, préparate. Entendo. took control of the rebel villages and the peasant uprising was subdued. But to keep control over the region, they would need to defend its center of influence, the monastery at Cocherel. Northeast of Cocherel, Charles of Navarre's army had established a fortified camp. The King of Navarre sought to make himself ruler of France as well. He intended to press his claim by destroying the newly arrived royal forces. Lance Batid, je sais tout. Manance, prêt à œuvrer. Voyez tout le monde. Voyez les ordonnances. Oui là, mais fuir. Les commandements. En besoin. Et it's cure aux soyez vici commandements. Oh, yeah, it's just 
demande. Tostia le Reis. Royet, Beichi, commandement. Je lance une bombée. Compagnon, ayez bien, chop ten faire. Presse porte à Tespet Vos, Archiers, Et Ayez scur au com. Si comme le volet. Archiers, les commandements viennent. Archiers, Archiers, prenez vos axes. Arch, Arch, mon arc, Archiers, Advantons. Veil, Oyez, Veilchi, commandements. Et Yetzkur, le ferait donc. Obéis aux commandements. Dicte-moi mon Versailles. Ma lance presse. Tous le monde. Tous les Que va dire Oui, Lors bâti, je sais tuer. Tous les gars, Lauretz. Advertence. Advertence de besoin à faire. Oui, mais tire de moi. Oyez, les ordonnances. Que va l'y bastir Oyez, oh tout le monde. Que va l'y bastir Reste pour la besogne, maintenant. Oyez, oh les ordonnances. Je va l'y bastir. Longtemps, va t de moi. Peïti, les jambes, quoi, il n'a pas. C'est un chien. Bien, vos oeil. Jouez votre plaisir. Pour vous servir. Amen.
Dicte votre plaisir. L'heure est de besoin. Voyez moi besoin. Voyez les ordonnances. Veitchi laisse commandement, si comme le volet. Soyez prêts, avant, compagnon. Incontinent. Si comme vos voltrais. Quand je commande, avant. Avertissez votre courage, compagnon. Retraillez vos abois. Quand je commande, avant. Retraillez vos abois. Avertissez votre courage, compagnon. Mais j'y vois de ces terres. Access avant, compagnon. Retraillez vos abois. Avant, compagnon. Prest Suisse que vous servez. Lux des viandes. Access quand je commande. Avant. Avertissez votre courage, compagnon. Nos brûlants trop de trucs. Avant, compagnon. Quand je commande. Avant. de besoin en votre service. Retraillez vos abois. Certes. Apertissez vos besoin à faire. Retraillez oh, les abois. Adéus. Ça, très douce. Non, c'est bon, c'est le salaire. Retraillez vos abois. Acte en retraillette, pose à moi. Quand je commande, avant. Avertissez votre courage, compagnon. Certes. Courage, l'entière, comme il vous plaira. A testé de vos, archi archère, en la voie. Soyez prêts pour votre service. Compagnon, venez vous et c'est des Spartans. Respect vos compagnons. Si oui, oui. Je suis votre serveur. Attendez la vente, compagnons. Votre yet pose à moi. Avertissez votre courage, compagnon. Avant, compagnon. 
Pushing up the hillside, the French discovered Charles of Navarre's camp. His front line had the high ground and was made up entirely of archers. The French would have to think carefully about how to approach the stronghold. Les commandements, obéis aux commandements. Les chevaux sont prêts, les couettes sont à rouer. Mon arc est presque. Dites moi mon Versailles. archer. Mon 
Oh non, reste ma vie. Alors, Jens, les commandes de... Oyez bien, compagnon. Bien, oye. Summers on ordonnance. À l'arson, chevalier. Et Yetzkur au commande. Un coup de stress fausse pour départir. Compagnon, mec ton snow, ça la voyait bien brièvement. Oyez tous le monde. Bon, on va se servir. Just to see how far we can go. Votre courage, compagnon, incontinent. À cette fête vos archers. Archers, prenez vos arches en pleine terre. Archers, obéis aux commandements. The French army had repelled Charles of Navarre, stemmed the revolt, and held back the raids of the Routier. In the struggle for control over France's lands, the king still clung to power.
A war horse was no ordinary horse. In battle, it was a knight's comrade in arms. By nature, horses are prey animals, but the war horse had to become a predator. They had to be aggressive and fearless, to charge enemy lines and to trample anyone in their way. To achieve this, they were specially bred and highly trained to fight, to lash out with their hooves on command. This meant war horses were expensive and so conveyed high status. War horses were incredibly strong and powerful, but they were also vulnerable. This is a really big target, and it's much easier to shoot a horse than it is to hit its rider. So just as men wore armor, horses wore armor too. A knight didn't ride his war horse on the road to battle. It was far too valuable. Instead, they were led by the knight's groom. A knight would take multiple war horses on campaign, as he would need to change to a fresh horse several times during battle. Once geared up, the knight, his horse and his weapons became a highly effective system. The heavy cavalry lance had a small ring called a graper, and this locks into my arm, forming a hard linkage so that the lance can't shoot backwards on impact. The war saddle was also crucial. With its high back, it locked the rider to the horse. This means with the graper and the saddle, Horse, man, and weapon are all locked together to create one giant horse-powered projectile. The main purpose of heavy cavalry was to charge straight into the enemy and smash through their lines. The impact charge crashed into an enemy with terrifying force. It required horses with exceptional courage and power. <laughs> with rebels and raiders eliminated at Cocherel, King Charles V faced one last threat to France, the relentless English invaders. Word arrived that the English army was weak and scattered, divided by infighting. The king quickly directed his army to chase down the old enemy of France at Pont Valin. The French town of pont lay directly in the path of marauding English soldiers on the hunt for loot. The town's only hope of survival lay with the French forces camped nearby. The French quickly prepared to ambush the disorganized English raiders and defend pont from ruin. The main English army thundered into the valley. They paused to rest beyond the town before launching their raid. Ambulance. 
audience. Colonel Frequent, man de main. Colonel, pas ici. Si, bene. Mando la bourra. Spectrum matériel. lurked in the valley. If the French could defeat these routiers, they could claim the supplies they had gathered. The first group of English raiders began their attacks on the outlying farms. After destroying the farms, they would attack the town of Pontvala. Venies, Servientes. In avant, Servientes. Allons-y. Venies, Servientes. Si sommes. Yo maso. Quelle? Cosa sera masonata? Ambulance. Quoi de la 
La bourse Bérance. Bando la fouette, mais... Vous essayez la maçonnade. Arquière parade. Mais plecte. Bande squad. Yo maçonne la côte. Parade pour venir. Bando la bourre. Parade pour la bourre. Que mandes. Vous essayez la Parade pour la bourre. Cosé sera machin des squad. Yo maçonne la. Si sommes. Yo maçonne la cause. Quoi de la boue. Bénéfique. Sa guitare est pour venir. Les plectes. Bon labour. Mande des squad. Cosé sera maçonnata. Si. Comme Mandes. More scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Pont Valant. Vado la bourra. Yo me sonó la cosa. Sa guitarra. Feliz et beat. Quoi de la bourra? Ça es bien Manuel. Fest por. Et y est-ce que le défaut est ses départs En jambère, quoi il n'a folle On me laisse te parer. A chestnut swords. Ça comme peignot. Or Alban. Long temps va-t-il demeurer? On me laisse te parer. Advertence. Allons ça, très toutes. Giovanni Bastille. Reste pour la besogne, Manance. Non, Stier. Bah, il y a de besoin. Oh, il me stier de moi. Lors, pas. Attendez les commandements, Manance. Tous de Yann, en fait. Oh, me faut trahir. Besoin y a peur. Attendez les commandements. Les autres, les bandes, je commande. Avant. Comme paye. Allons, ça part, mais. Je gagne mon gage. Mon arc est presque. Et qui va y chier des commandements. Compagnon, veniez avions moué, compagnon. 
Over the region, they would need to defend its center of influence, the monastery. With rebels and Chili man demand. Vado pour Mercaré. Bon, caval parade. Coup de grande course. Parade pour venir. Si sommes. Vous essayez. Parade pour la bourrade. Yo masono la. Parade pour la bourrade. Yo masono la cause. The main English army thundered into the valley. They paused to rest beyond the town before launching their raid. Materia. Parades pour la bourrade. 
Va de la Parade pour venir. Va de la bourrard. Benefect. Bonne si sommes. Si sommes. Mandes quoi Io ma sono la cosa. Buon lavoro. Mandes quoi Si sommes. Cosa sarà massonata Félicite Béa. La bourse Pérance. En desquette. Je m'as sonné la cause. Arco Parade. The first group of English raiders began their attacks on the outlying farms. After destroying the farms, they would attack the town of Pontvalin. Sagita in arco. Bene audite. In avant, serviente. Bonne labour. Cosé sera ma sonate. Attention. Il tape. Il Si sommes. Yo me sonó la cosa. Venez, audite. 
more scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Pont Valin. Donnez moi vos satellites. Allons, Brest. Attendez les commandements. Je suis votre serveuse. Oyez les ordonnances. Vos oeils donc. Lors bâtis, je sais tuer. Scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Pont Valin. Il n'y faut que la devise. Fex, jeunesse litieur. Cheval chat, soyez express. J'ai besoin. Oh, 
Thomas on ordinance. Alarson, Chevalier. Wait for me, Commandement. J'attends. Donets moi, boss, à bit. Mandesquede, vado a lavorare. Io ma sono la cosa. Escolte bene. Mercafè. Oh, mes, preparate. Oh, dite. Venez, servientes. Sì. Ambulance. A small bandit camp lurked in the valley. If the French could defeat these routiers, they could claim the supplies they had gathered. The main English army thundered into the valley. They paused to rest beyond the town before launching their raid. Et chez les mains, si, comprends-tu.
The main English army thundered into the valley. They paused to rest beyond the town before launching their raid. Squid. Mais flecked. Cause it's squid, mais. Cause it's a masson. Arats for la bourra. Vado la bourra. Si sommes. Comme un solo la bourre, Sperance. Cause it's a masonata. The first group of English raiders began their attacks on the outlying farms. After destroying the farms, they would attack the town of Ponvala. Sagita in Arco. Labour Spérance. Labour Spérance. Six hommes. Mandesquet. Par 
Squad pour venir. Demande des Squad Squad, mais... Bon labour. Parade pour la bourra. Quoi mais Vado dans des squets. Yo mas. Dans des squets. Quoi mais Posez ces rames masso. Quoi de la bourre Posez ces Parade pour venir. Parade Parade pour la bourra. Posez ces rames sonnantes. Si son mes. Des effets. Parade pour la bourra. Camino. Vado la bourra. Mande squad. Inérance. Retourne comme matéria. La squad. Mais c'est comme matéria. Benefect. Six hommes. Six hommes. Mon asial pour la matéria. Labour Spérance. Cosé sera maçonnata. Mande des squad. Yo maçonno la cosé. Bonne labour. Sur moins de mans. Sono la cose. Meflect. Parat pour venir. More scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Ponvala. Vado la bourra. Sono la cose. Cosa sera ma sona? Quel labour? Cosa sera ma sona? Barate pour la bourra. On va y croire, on va y croire. Qu'est-ce que demandez? Mande-ce quoi? 
En linea equites, Matsals in avanti. Barat pour Vénich. Quoi de la bourre Cosé c'est la masse. Barat pour la bourra. Bien effect. Barat pour la bourra. La bourre Spérance. Va dans la bourra. Point d'ordaine. C'est propre tous. Equites sont pas tous. C'est Valier. More scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Pontvala. Escolte Béné. Vado pour Mercaré. Coursor Obeyat. Homme Goulot. Baratès Servientes. In avant Servientes. Quoi de mais... La bourse Pérance. La bourse Pérance. The main English army thundered into the valley. They paused to rest beyond the town before launching their raid. Chut. 
quoi être aimé La bourse Pérance. Bénéfice. Barats pour la bourra. Vous êtes sur ma sonata. Si sommes. Je m'en sonne la cause. Ben mon desquad. Parade pour la bourra. Retourne au pan matériel. Quoi de la bourre? Félicite Béat. Cosé sera ma sonate. The first group of English raiders began their attacks on the outlying farms. After destroying the farms, they would attack the town of Pontvalin. Quoi de Cosé sera ma sonate. Je m'en sonne la cause. Va dans la bourra. Ici va Tost. Va dans la bourra. Massonata. Par à tous et trompe tous. Sur mon mars. Par à tous et Quoi être mais Va de la bourra. Mais... 
scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Convala. Buon labour. Buon labour. Io mi sono la cosa. Buon labour. Parat per venire. Quando squad, cosa sarà ma sonata? More scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Ponvala.
boast of ease. The English army chose their moment and began to close in on Pont Valat. Si, sur affect. Comme il faut se plaire à 
Hands on the slaves commandments. J'ai besoin. Nos savants commandent de Vans. Access Metzvold. Oh yes, oh yes, les ordonnances. Nous Voyez une continent. Avertissez votre courage, compagnon. After a hard-won battle against a scattered enemy, the French succeeded in halting the English chevauchée at pont -Valin. The English army was not invincible. The French cause was not yet lost. Longbows were powerful weapons, but keeping archers supplied with ammunition was a major undertaking. This is a modern arrow. Small and lightweight. Pretty much what everyone shoots these days. Compared to this medieval war arrow. Look at the size of this thing. It's a beast. A medieval army might need more than a million war arrows on campaign, and each one had to be made by hand. It was a labor-intensive business, and the person who did it was called a fletcher. First, a log is split into square staves. Then the fletcher uses a plane to start roughing out the shape. Ugh, how do I get it round? Not only have you got to make it round, you've got to make it bobtailed. Look at that. Tailed. You see, that's coming down thinner down that end. There's a natural taper coming down there to that end. 
A plane with a curved blade is used to create the taper. This makes the arrow aerodynamic. This is an incredibly painstaking process for one arrow. Most of them are just for one shot as well. Next, a slot is cut to receive a piece of horn. The horn reinforces the knock. That's the notch that fits the arrow to the bowstring. Without the horn insert, the power of a heavy war bow could split and shatter an arrow. Once the horn is in place, the knock is sawn and shaped. Then the Fletcher has to attach the feathers to the shaft. Now what you've got to do is you've got to get rid of the stiffness of the quill. You're going to work it down so it's nice and thin. So this is dogfish skin? Yeah, medieval sandpaper. The feathers are glued in place and then secured with thread. The final process is to arm the arrow with its arrowhead. The person who makes these is called an arrowsmith. From a blank piece of iron, he starts with the part that fits over the arrow shaft. First he makes the bar flat, then uses a special former to create a socket. The final stage is to hammer out the shape of the head. Arrow stocks had to be prepared far in advance for campaign. It was impossible to make them in sufficient numbers overnight. A medieval war arrow like this could only be shot from a big, exceptionally powerful bow. And it packed a mighty punch. The French won an overwhelming victory at the Battle of pont -Valin. It was the first time the English had been utterly defeated during the war. But the triumph was short-lived. As England spent the next 60 years amassing French territory through alliances and victories at great battles such as Agincourt. It seemed that nothing could stop England. Who then could have foreseen that a teenaged girl was about to change the course of history? In 1429, France was in dire straits. Nowhere was it more evident than the besieged city of Orléans. The city was completely surrounded by English-held forts. But just a few days' ride away, here in Chinon, there was potential help. The French royal prince, the Dauphin Charles, was holed up in his fortress and under pressure to ride out to save Orléans. As Charles hesitated, a young peasant girl arrived at his court. Her name was Jeanne d'Arc. She claimed to have received saintly visions, giving her a divine task to help Charles become king and drive the English out of France forever. Charles was skeptical, but was soon convinced of her divinity. And he charged the 17-year-old with the near impossible mission to liberate Orléans. To Jeanne, this was the first step in realizing her God-given destiny. In April 1429, she rode out from Chinon at the head of her army to confront the hated enemy of France.
surrounded by English strongholds, and with its last line of defense under attack, the city of Orléans grew ever more desperate. In France's darkest hour, 17-year-old Jeanne d'Arc arrived with the king's army to liberate a city and prevent the fall of a nation. The English had captured the vital fortification, known as Les Tourelles, on the south bank of the Loire. Orléans would live or die on its access to supplies. Recapturing Les Tourelles would be key to saving the city.
Having suffered under the English siege for months, Orléans had sent for crucial supplies. But English patrols threatened their arrival at the city. If Orléans hoped to receive the supplies, the French would have to clear the road of English raiders. French eliminated the English raiders, granting the supply convoy safe passage into the city. Each time supplies approached Orléans, English raiders would return to guard the road, hoping to plunder the French goods. The supply convoy arrived in the city, providing the French army with much needed gold. Seeing another supply convoy approaching the city, English raiders took up position on the road. The French needed to eliminate the enemy detachment if they hoped to receive the supplies.
jouer une Versailles. Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army. Bonne besoin et je fais. Donc besoignez. Oh me faut trahir. Oh me faut trahir. Si vous avez besoin. Ma besoin à faire. Que faut-il donc besoin Oh, mestire de moi. L'or bâti de ce. Oh, mestire de moi. En besoin. Vaillez moi besoin. Que faut-il donc besoin Vaillez moi besoin. En besoin. L'or se bâti de ce. Longtemps va-t-il demeurer Longtemps va-t-il demeurer Ardu 
Giovanni Basti, che fauti dong besoigni. Che fauti besoigni. Che fauti trai. Non stialo. Moil, M. Besoigni a te. Lors Batti, je sais tu. Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army.
Donc besoigné. Aux de l'estier, oui, à part mes. M bes. Oui, si tous. Vaillez, moi. Pour vous servir. Suis en coin. Oui, à votre commande de marche. Besoin de faire. Lors bâti, je sais ce tuy. Un besoin. Tu vas. Homme faut trahir. Lors bâti, je sais ce tuy. Avant, avant, pour les tiens. Homme faut trahir. Des mouets. Lors bâti, je sais ce Que font ils donc si les exploitières Besoin de la cette mouille exploitée. Appareillement en train. Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army.
Fritz Holt traverse Pénoy. Besoin sur Quim, à Chesnes Mosxivei. M besoin, à votre commandement. Que faut-il donc besoin The trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army. army torched the eastern English fort, securing a crossing to the south bank of the Loire River.
last obstacle to Les Tourelles fell to ruin. in the English siege of Orléans, blocking the main supply route to the city. If Jean d'Arc could capture it, Orléans would finally be liberated. The king's army drove the hated enemy of France from Les Tourelles. With the main road to the city back in French hands, the English abandoned their long siege of Orléans. Celebrating a momentous victory at the head of the French army, Jeanne d'Arc would forever be remembered as the Maid of Orléans. The French won an overwhelming victory at the Battle of pont -Valin. It was the first time the English had been utterly defeated during the war. But the triumph was short-lived. 
as England spent the next 60 years amassing French territory through alliances and victories at great battles such as Agincourt. It seemed that nothing could stop England. Who then could have foreseen that a teenaged girl was about to change the course of A medieval army on the march was a city on the move. No expense was spared to keep knights and nobles in the lap of luxury. Knights lived in luxurious tents called pavilions, which they had all of their furnishings. Proper chairs and tables and tableware, real beds with fine linens, even wall hangings. All this furniture had to be transported, and that's on top of what was needed for combat. Weapons and armour needed an army of artisans to maintain them. The armourer's job on campaign was one of maintenance, constantly repairing, knocking out dents, simply changing straps or replacing rivets that had broken. If you think of the knight as a race car driver, the armourer is his chief mechanic. Without him, he would not be able to function. Also following an army was a band of opportunistic civilians, the camp followers, all vying to sell their services and goods to the soldiers. When on the march, most of the thousands of soldiers were mounted. Each knight would have at least six horses, all needing grooms, farriers and fodder. The royal household brought with them their clerks, their priests, essential for men who feared they might die in battle. And of course, their cooks. The common soldiers subsisted mainly on bread and a thick soup called pottage. It was an altogether different story for the knights. A knight on campaign would expect the best food. So we have game, we have fine meats, we have fruit when it's in season, always cooked, because food is tied in with health as well. That's very important. And I'm just finishing off a dish here of spiced meatballs with a red wine and pine nut sauce. French and English armies could be on campaign for months on end, manoeuvring and skirmishing until they took to the field for a decisive battle. Jeanne d'Arc had liberated Orléans and put the English army to flight. However, as the English retreated, they became an obstacle for Charles the Dauphin. He needed a clear path from Chinon to Reims, where he would be crowned king. Nearing the town of Pate, the English sought to regroup. But Jeanne d'Arc and her French army were closing in. Fleeing the Loire Valley, the English were on the run. As they retreated northwards, a French vanguard was in close pursuit. Caught out of position, the French faced a surprise attack from the English rearguard. A detachment of English archers blocked the road with palings, an effective measure against cavalry. The French vanguard had to clear the road if they were to call in reinforcements. Oh, 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 oh,
With the road cleared, the French army could safely bring in reinforcements from nearby allies. The French army paid their ally and received a detachment of reinforcements. The French army saw a chance to bolster their numbers and sent payment to their ally in return for reinforcements. Hearing the rallying cry of the English coming from the village of St. Sigmund, the French were alerted to the enemy position. recaptured St. Sigmund and prepared to rendezvous with Jean d'Arc. But a large English detachment had set up a blockade. So long as that force was in place, the French vanguard could not reach Jean. Service. 
Alors, Sanji besoin. Oui, Sunzi obéit. Mais, Suisse est là. Donnez-moi votre or, votre service. Je veux être. Je ris dans votre honneur. Mon destin. Je veux être. Une connor. Si comme vos voldrez. Attendez, les commandements. Quand je commande, avant. Chivalière, presque pour un stier. Pointe de merci. L'heure est de me soyez presque. Je veux. <coughs> With the English blockade destroyed, the French vanguard rejoiced at the arrival of Jeanne d'Arc and her troops. With their rear guard eliminated, the remaining English forces would now seek to escape the valley through the town of Pate. Three enemy regiments were converging on the town along three main roads. Jeanne had either to stop the regiments on the roads or race ahead to fortify Pate itself. Sending gold to their ally, the French army received fresh reinforcements. Tous sommes prêts. Mon arc est à l'arc. J'y vois de ces terres. 
Obéis. Je suis votre serveur. Comment Je vole, chat. Piquette, vos arouets. NC souhaitez. J'obtends de père à vos affiches. Je vois le chef. On arrange pour l'avouer. J'ai besoin. Je vois le chef. À pleine course. Le retraillet pose. Oui, soon, si. On aurait mon chevalier cesse. Obéir, certes. Soyez prêts. J'ai besoin. Le verse ou le faut-il obéir au commandement. A tête des forces, Archer, le demeuré est point de slats to coin. Les chevaux, nos allons, chevaux, chers. Si obéis à vos commandements, j'obtends de père à vos affiches. J'y vois de ces terres. J'y vois de ces terres. J'ai besoin. Oh yes, les commandements. Je fais vos commandements. Les autres, les commandements. Avant, à mon commandement. Compagnon, voyez bien. Ainsi soit-il. Veniez à vie au moué, compagnon. Pex, veillez chez les commandements. Présence, bien ordonné. As the forces of the valiant Jeanne d'Arc entered the town, the people of Pate rallied to her cause. Pour la besoin. Moult avance, fouet à tra... Archer, les commandes de Mouer à part mail. Cette semaine, on va les tiers. Allons. Reste tous, sommes prêts. Riden, c'est bon ordre. Courez où, prêts. Aches, mets vos compagnons.
Command demanding. Du deck je reste. After an intense pursuit and a hard-fought battle, the French crushed the remaining English army, thwarting their desperate retreat. Now the triumphant Jeanne d'Arc could safely lead Charles de Reims for his coronation as King of France. Medieval soldiers suffered brutal injuries in battle. Their chance of survival lay with barber surgeons. From cutting hair to removing limbs on the battlefield, the job of a barber surgeon was varied, and so were their tools. 600 years ago, surgery was very difficult. Medieval soldiers suffered brutal injuries in battle. Their chance of survival lay with barber surgeons. From cutting hair to removing limbs on the battlefield, the job of a barber surgeon was varied, and so were their tools. 600 years ago, surgery was very different from today. And this is some of the kit that the surgeons of then would be using. For example, amputations. This bit of kit was used to cut through the skin. Then you need to get through bone. And this is what they used. <sighs> Believe it or not, this was used for neurosurgery. But what they didn't have at the time was anesthesia. Despite carrying out major surgery, barber surgeons had no formal training. What they learned, they learned on the job. And the place where they practiced the most was the battlefield. This was also a time when new surgical techniques were developed, particularly when it came to saving the life of a future king. In 1403, 16-year-old Prince Henry was injured in the Battle of Shrewsbury while fighting rebels trying to overthrow his father, King Henry IV. The arrow penetrated his right cheek and became lodged at the base of his skull. He was very lucky it didn't kill him instantly. Prince Henry pulled the arrow from his face. The shaft came out, but the arrowhead remained lodged inside. They needed to get that out before infection set in and killed him. To the rescue, celebrated surgeon John Bradmore. Bradmore recorded what he did to save the prince's life, including a picture of the tool he made to extract the arrowhead. And it works by ensuring that the tip is closed and then inserting it 
along the track caused by the arrowhead until it meets the arrowhead. Then the screw is turned to expand the tip, locking it in place inside the arrowhead. And then ever so slowly and gently, you extract, making sure that you don't lose it along the way. I'm amazed by the skill that would have been needed to do this successfully. Can you imagine how good that felt when that came out? The young prince survived to become King Henry V, hero of Agincourt. But perhaps the real heroes of medieval medicine were the barber surgeons, who saved countless lives on the battlefield. The Battle of Pate was a disaster for the English. The French wiped out their bowmen and drove their forces from the Loire Valley. Now for Jeanne d'Arc and the Dauphin, the way to Reims was clear. The Maid of Orléans rode with the Dauphin through the streets and was at his side when he was finally crowned King Charles VII of France. But less than two years later, Jeanne was captured in battle, sold to the English, and put on trial for heresy. She spent six months locked in a dungeon awaiting her fate. King Charles, who owed his crown to Jeanne, did nothing to help win her freedom. She was found guilty. On May 30th, 1431, Jeanne d'Arc was brought here to the old market square in Rouen, where she was burned at the stake. She was 19 years old. But what the Maid of Orléans started could not be denied. Her victories were the first in a chain of successes for France's military. Liberty was within reach. Thanks to the leadership of two brothers, Jean and Gaspard Bureau, the French army became experts in the use of artillery, transforming it into a disciplined, modern fighting force. In 1448, King Charles was ready to make a major move against the English. He vowed to retake Normandy. King Charles VII's army would soon have access to the most advanced artillery in Europe, thanks to the master gunners, the Bureau brothers. While the brothers developed their weapons, the king laid plans for their use. He would bring Normandy back under French control. The first phase of the king's plan would give the Bureau brothers time to perfect their cannons. He tasked his army with claiming a base of operations. A chest met Zwarz. 
Those Despartans play a man. Be annoyed. With the town under French control, the Bureau brothers now had the use of the university and of their own siege workshop. Their next goal was to learn all they could about recent innovations in the mixing of the most potent gunpowder. While the army waited for their new weapons, they kept a watchful eye for any English attacks on the town. A party of English soldiers approached the French base, intent on reclaiming the town. Come in. 
En ordre Je va aller Bastien. Besoin à faire. À votre commandement. Vécu à Mériens. En besoin. Besoin à faire. Vecchier Mériens. Donc besoigné. Ah oh, oui, mestière de bois. Pouvons savoir, mestière de bois. Que faut-il donc Mais ici, les commandements. Merci. Merci, comme c'est un espace. The brothers worked tirelessly to cast their gun barrels, but they still needed insight into the latest gunpowder chemistry. Écoute les ordonnances. Ce sera moult bien assouvi, verrez. J'attends ma besoin prochaine. J'attends vos avis. Nostella Bastille. Chut. 
sera moult bien assouvi, verrez. Qu'attendez-vous de moi Je prends cure de ce manoir. J'attends ma besogne prochaine. Je prends cure de ce manoir. Jarbal est trié. Je fais comme il vous plaît. Arval est trié, ne restez pas, assistant. Arval est trié. Avez-vous À vos ordres suis. J'irai vous foutrer. Assouvi, verrez. Un hostel à bastir. Bref, votre plaisir est ordonnance. Oui, il est important. Optimé, j'y vais. Si fait, j'en continue. Point de repos pour les hardis. Ce sera moule bien assouvi, verrez. J'attends vos avis. Advertence. Voici. Nous avons un port. Allez. Qu'attendez-vous de moi Vous voulez que j'aille Voyez tous. Voici les commandements. de ce manoir. The Bureau brothers had successfully combined a powerful gunpowder recipe with sturdy cast iron gun barrels. At last, cannon production could begin. While the brothers turned out their cannons, culverins and ribaldequins, the French army would bolster themselves for the coming fight. Tous. Eh bien Point de repos pour les hardis. J'attends vos advices. Qu'attendez-vous de moi Un os point de repos pour les hardis. 
Un os. Prêt suit pour vos étiers. Prêt suit pour vos étiers. Avez-vous commandement point de repos pour les hardis Avez-vous commandement pour moi J'attends ma besogne prochaine. J'attends vos advis. Ce sera moins bien assumé, verrez. Or prêt suit pour vos étiers. Point de repos pour les hardis. Or ça. Ouais, bien. Pour... Je prends cure de ce prêt. Pour vos étiers. Qu'attendez-vous de moi Nostel Abasti. Avez-vous commandement pour moi J'attends vos avis. Arba l'étrier. Alors Arba l'étrier. Avant. Soudar. Marchand de rechier, Soudar. Soyez. Oh les cœurs, Soudar. J'attends ma buse. Bien, bien, je le vais faire. Lancier. Très bien. Qu'attendez Je me mets en l'avoué. Je prends cure de ce manoir. Point de repos pour les hardis. Ce sera moult. J'attends ma besogne prochaine. J'attends vos advices. J'obéirai. Si tel est votre plaisir. J'attends ma besogne prochaine. Oyez tous, voici les commandements. Un hostel à Basti. Advertance, voici les commandements. Assez suis fier de mon œuvre. Assez suis fier de mon œuvre. Assouvi, verrez. Nous attendons les. Ah non Si viennent les commandements Nous attendons vos commandements Bien, bien, je le vais faire. Cloué, réussi comme vous voulez. Assignez-nous donc aucune besogne. Si fais-je un continent. Je prends cure de ce manoir. Les ordonnances. 
Nous avons un port. Allez. Bien, Oye. Oye tous. Voici les commandements. Bien, bien. Oye tous. Advertance. Voici les commandements. Reste tous, écoute les... Allons sans intermoyer. Un hostel à Bastir. Je prends... Avez-vous commandement pour moi J'attends ma besoigne. J'attends vos advices. Besoin... Avez-vous commandement pour moi Prêt suis pour vos équipes. Une œuvre bien assaut. Voyons aussi, nous sommes soldés pour besoigner. Avez-vous commandement pour moi Qu'attendez-vous de moi Point de repos pour les hardis. Un hostel à Bastir. Prêt suis pour vos étiers. Assez suis fier de mon œuvre. Assez suis fier. Quelle est ma beauté Optimé, part de la veille. J'y vais. Nous attendons vos commandements. Je fais vos commandements. Les ainsi ennemis appliquent notre bataille. Je m'achoue. J'ai besoin d'un par main. Oi, j'y ride. Par main, il veille. Vous êtes détruit de là. Optimé, j'y vais. Pour vous servir, suis-je là. Will, il est mal comprend. Les soudards sont si comme vous voulez. Gendarmes, emprégnez bien. L'heure est d'aller en vouer. Obéir, c'est ce tu y vais, j'entreprends. Je vais où être doué. Gloire et victoire seront ces leurs. Nous attendons vos commandements. Je fais vos commandements. Les soudards sont prêts pour la tienne. Nous attendons les commandements. Soudards, soyez prêts. Je vais à votre appui. Soudain, Will, je l'emprunte tantôt. J'y ai tué. Gendarme, on a joué. Bien, l'heure est d'aller en joué. Votre vouloir aidera mon aile. L'avoué de vertu. Je m'inclinerai. Les soudards sont prêts, c'est l'heure de départir, soudards Gloire et victoire seront à nous, soudards. Nos âmes, c'est comme vous voulez J'attends vos advices. Je prends cure de ce point de repos pour les hardis.
Je cure votre advertence. Moult me plaît votre présence. Compagnon. soit-il fait. Une œuvre bien assouvie. comme émandé, si tel est votre bon plaisir. Oyez les commandements avant ah bon, un seul arrière-regarde. Obéir et si tel est votre bon plaisir. Qu'attendez-vous de moi Bien, bien, je le vais faire. Avez-vous commandement pour moi Ce sera moult bien assouvi, verrez. Ce manoir. J'attends vos advices. J'exploite les réparements. Point de repos pour les hardis. Je prends cure de ce manoir. Un hostel à Bastille. Qu'attendez Je me mets en l'avouer. Voyez tous, voici les commandements. Bien fait. Tous. Allons, sans intermoyer. Ce sera moins bien Bien vous plaise l'achèvement J'ai bonne maîtrise de ce cas.
Assez, suis fier de mon œuvre. Nous allons avoir les commandements Qui même aille après moi J'attends ma besogne prochaine. Qui dois-je assonner J'attends les commandements. Avez-vous commandement pour Moué Rappareillement. J'attends vos amis. Suivez le courroie, on va les trier. Alors, on va les trier. Avant. Et pour vous, tout à tirer. Tout suit à votre plaisir. Ainsi sera fait. De la poudre. Les commandements vieux. Oui. C'est à honneur. Oui, si vous se plaît, votre avertant. Ainsi suivons la voie de notre divin Seigneur. Besoin. Je gagne une autre. Nous allons avoir avant. Cuidé au butin. Moult me plaît votre présence, compagnon. Si le fait à tout petit. Avant. Cuidé au butin. Qui même aille après moi. Qui même aille après moi. 
Moult me plaît votre présence, compagnon. With the mine under French control, the Bureau brothers had access to an abundance of iron for their gun barrels. Je quais avant. Un saint à l'arrière garde. Avant. Cuidé au butin. Avant. Un saint à l'arrière garde. Qu'un s'il souhaite. Qui même aille après moi. Oyez tous. Voici les commandements. Je m'attise d'Estromine. Will, j'y les bats comprend. Advertance, voici les commandements. Ce sera moult bien assouvi, verrez. Frère S, maintenant faut-il œuvrer. J'incline à votre volonté. Reste tout d'emblée, nous avançons. Oyez tous, voici les commandements. Bien, bien. À la mine, si Véja. Advertance, voici les commandements. Je mâche mon train de partir. Oy, j'irrite. Où dois-je te. Nos carrels sont prêts pour traire. Je cure votre adverte. Moult me plaît, votre arbalète. Arbalétrier avant. Et père. Nous allons avoir. Ce sera pour moi, honor. Qu'ainsi il souhaite. Ce sera pour moi, honor. Moi de merci. Soit-il fait Votre vouloir guidera mon air. Les commandements viennent. Si le fait à tout petit. Avant, tu idées au butin. Avant, un saint à l'arrière garde. Avant, tu idées au butin. C'est à honor.
skirmish won, trade could begin with a settlement. soit-il fait. Ah, il y a 
Obéir est divine vertu. D'où suis à votre chevet ou être doué. Je m'inclinerai à votre plaisir. Nous allons avoir les commandants cuidés au butin. Qui même aille après moi J'incline à votre volonté. Votre La volonté. mort nous est chargée. La voie de vertu veuille suivre. Oyez les. Un saint soit-il fait. Les commandements. Ah bon, un saint à l'arrière, regarde. Moult me plaît votre présence, compagnon. Nous avons cuidé au butin. Il nous traite les avant. Cuidé au butin. Nouvel tourment pour l'ennemi. Tout suis, si ferai-je comme émandé. J'obéirai. Or donc, m'incline à votre plaisir. Les commandements c'est à honor. Je quitte ainsi il souhait. Les commandements viennent. Si le fait à tout tir. Obéir est divine vertu. Écoute les ordonnances. Will, gilet bas comprend. Si fait Jacques Continent. Colobrine, Colobrine, nous partons. Colobrine, hors sus donc. Fecte moins fillant. Colobrine, Colobrine, chargez. À moi, serviteur. Oh 
Envoyez les commandes qui même aille après moi. Reste tous et coup à vos ordres suis. D'où suis à votre plaisir. J'enjambe la j'obéirai. Tantôt ce paix je l'entreprendre. J'attends ma besoigne prouche. Nous attendons les commandements maintenant. Advertence. Vois restous, écoute les ordres. Moult me plaisent d'œuvrer au champ. Assignez-nous de votre plaisir et ordonnance. Je pars chasser diligemment. Qu'attendez-vous Qu'attendez-vous de moi Nous allons avoir... Moult me plaît votre présence, compagnon. Un saint soit-il fait. Votre vouloir, je m'inclinerai à votre plaisir. L'avoué de vertu veuille suivre. Je quais votre advertence. Avant, un saint à l'arrière regarde. Ce sera pour moi, honor. C'est à honor. Les commandements vieux, ce sera pour moi, oh non. Oyez les commandements avant. Nous allons avoir qu'un s'il souhaite. Avant. Cuidez au butin. Reste sous avant. Cuidez au butin. Le chant nous attend, ce sera pour moi. Honneur Si le fait à tout petit, je quère votre qui même aille après moi. Moult me plaît votre présence.
After raising the river port, the French soldiers seized a stockpile of shipworthy timber, which could be used for superior cannon frames. The brothers now had every available advantage in producing their guns. Maintenant, exploitons l'ouvrage. Quelle est ma besogne Optimé, par de la beige. À part main et beige. Tous ainsi sur affect. Obéir est divine, que cesses tu vais-je entreprendre At last, the French artillery weapons were ready for deployment. After years of preparation, the time had come for Charles VII to make his move. To take back Normandy, he would need to recapture the stronghold of Rouen, a critical fortress from which the English had been attacking Paris. Rouen's walls would face an explosive trial against the mighty force of gunpowder. Nous avons les commandements reçus.
Soudar, nous avons nos commandes. Envoyez Soudar, suivez l'artillerie. C'est quasi assouvi. Tout suit à votre plaisir. Obéir est divine vertu. La voie de vertu. Nos ordonnances sont la sus. Oh, Nous avons nos commandements. C'est quasi assouvi. Envoyez. 
Segue il Sudan, suive la Tiri. Nous accomplissons vos ordonnances. Nous avons les commandements reçus. Ainsi sera fait. C'est quasi assouvi. The French army bore down on the formidable walls of Rouen, ready to launch their final assault on this key English stronghold. Rouen's walls were breached. The French army had at last exposed the heart of the fortress. Having lost the walls of Rouen, the English made a last stand for the city. The French would need to destroy the buildings that had housed the English army and drive out the enemy for good.
ordonnances.
de Navarre. Advise pour vos engins. À les engins de siège, ils vont bâtir de notre île. Très bien. With the English scattered and their buildings in ashes, the French had recaptured the critical fortress of Rouen. Charles VII had proven that France was no longer the underdog in the Hundred Years' War. After decades of bloody dispute, Normandy was finally back in French hands.
during the 14th century, the face of war in Europe changed forever. Thanks to a substance invented by the Chinese while searching for the elixir of life. Gunpowder. One of the first guns used on the battlefields of Europe was this, the Bombard. This is a large stone throwing gun for moving big projectiles like this up and over and through castle walls. Before the invention of the cannon, castle wall busting projectiles had been thrown by trebuchets. This is what took over from the trebuchet. Far easier to move from uh, castle to castle. Its design was simplicity itself, drawing on the skills of the barrel maker. This has metal staves, lengthways, and then lots of hoops holding those staves under compression. So this is why we now call this the gun barrel as well. The bombard was no more powerful than a trebuchet, but it did have a psychological impact on the enemy. If we take it back several hundred years and the loudest thing is a cockerel crowing or a brawl in the pub on a Saturday night, these things are horrendously frightening. As metallurgy improved, barrels could be made longer increasing accuracy and power. They progressed from taking down walls to taking out soldiers, replacing the bow and arrow. A typical arrow would get stuck in this sort of material where ball just goes straight through. So compared to a bow and arrow, this is far more deadly. During the Hundred Years' War, there was even a precursor to the machine gun, the Ribaldequin. She's got several barrels on her. This is the sort of gun that would have been very much against people being able to spread your shot out and hit large numbers of people in one go. Gunpowder revolutionized warfare throughout the Hundred Years' War. Changing the way battles were fought forever. Thanks to the explosive force of cannon fire, the French were close to victory in this century-long war. But in a final grasp at power, the English dispatched a fresh army, equipped with their tried and tested longbows. Formigny would be a trial of old versus new, to determine the fate of France. English commander Sir Thomas Kiriel sent a large expedition to crush the French in Normandy. The village of Carentin was directly in their path. Massively outnumbered, the French skirmishers near Carentin would give their lives to weaken the English. Oh, 
bravely, the French skirmishers could only slow the English advance. The main body of the French army finally arrived in the river valley. The French now needed to locate and destroy the English army. But they would face a well-entrenched enemy with several local garrisons. Garrison at Rickbeck. French forces found a detachment of the English army attacking the town of Ballon. If they could stop the attack, they might gain valuable resources. attack on Valonia halted, the citizens moved to support the French army.
Allons plus que le pas. Ainsi soit fait. Je vais devant, ridé derrière. Nous délaissons ces stuilieux. Je vais devant, ridé derrière. Nous délaissons ces stuilieux. En avant, reste tous en Mesné. Votre estime est bien clair. Je fais votre commandement. Nous délaissons ces stuilieux. 
Voyez bien les commandements en avant Restons en mesté Saint-Sauveur fell to the French forces, but the enemy army was still at large. Soudain. 
Voyez bien, Réussite qui sera prêt selon vos The French forces located Kirill's English army at a river crossing near the town of Formigny. Voyez bien les commandements, Souda. Je vais devant. Il est derrière. En avant. Restons sur mes Soyez assesmés. Suivez le convoi, Arba l'étrier. Arba l'étrier, ne restez pas assistant. Arba l'étrier, avant. Et ben. J'ai pourvoyé. Allons, Arba l'étrier, avant. Je suis arrivé. Nous 
Several of the Bureau brothers' heavy guns and other forces arrived to help. Even with their cannons, the French faced the difficult task of engaging the well-positioned English army. Nos ordonnances sont là, sus. Suivez l'engin. Avant, allons. Nous avons les commandements reçus. Oui. Que sont les commandements Paix. Paix ici. Je garderai ici cette assiette. Souda, lance sur. Dépêchez, moi. Oh. Nos carrels sont prêts pour traire. Dresse sur vos moines. Avez-vous comme je fais votre commandement L'ennemi nous assaut de longues traites À l'assaut, bousculier, nous allons Ainsi soit fait Piquez les deux Tout est en engin de siège, ça faut aller Point de faille, votre trait. La quintaine est toute ruineuse. En un, c'est l'heure de trait. Advise pour votre prochain. Dictenos, quelle quintaine va Nous les confions à l'ennemi. Dictenos, quelle quintaine va the French attacks succeeded in drawing the English front line out of position and across the river. Suffering losses, the English front line retreated back across the river. The French received word that their Breton allies had arrived with their knights and horsemen. Now the two armies could coordinate. The Bretons saw an opportunity to attack the English from the back. Nous attendons vos commandements. Qu'ainsi il soit. As the Bretons attacked, the English had no choice but to pivot their front line, opening their flanks to attack from the French.
Beset by the French and Bretons, the English beat a hasty retreat toward Formigny. The English survivors entered Formigny. The French would have to take this town to secure victory. With the last English army destroyed and the gates of Formigny thrown open, the French force in Normandy was victorious. Their well-organized forces and superior firepower had brought the arduous Hundred Years' War closer to its conclusion. Before the invention of printing in the 15th century, books were painstakingly copied by hand. The finest were illuminated with brilliant colors and real gold. Illuminated text wasn't just for show. Gilded illustrations decorated important passages to highlight their significance. Gold was used in many medieval manuscripts from early days because it was very expensive and it indicated that the manuscript itself was valuable. The light would reflect from candles or from the sunlight and so it looked as though the book itself was illuminated. In medieval manuscripts, it looks as though this is solid gold. In fact, it's not. The gold itself is tissue thin. The solid appearance is achieved by laying the gold on a cushion of plaster mixed with glue, called gesso. By raising the gold from the surface of the skin, that means that it catches the light even more. The glue in the gesso is softened by breathing on it. We then have three seconds to get the gold on, and I'm using a burnisher, which is a polished stone, just to make sure that the gold sticks. Then the burnisher is used to polish the gold up. See, it's coming up now. So it's coming nice and shiny. Next, the miniature is painted. The base colour will be done first, then the tints and the shades will be added, and finally, the white highlights and the outline, which lifts it and brings the whole thing to life. The medieval paint box 
contained pigments from across the world, such as ultramarine from Afghanistan and orpiment gathered from volcanic craters. It often took a long time to complete these medieval miniatures. This one between a month and six weeks from start to finish. An entire book could take a team of illuminators several years to complete. Many medieval manuscripts still survive today, fully preserved, with their colors just as vivid as the day they were illustrated. At Formigny, the roar of cannon fire sounded the death knell for England's ambitions in France. King Charles and the Bureau brothers did not let up on the offensive. And in 1453, the English retreated across the Channel. France was finally at peace. More than 100 years had passed since the first English chevauchets had scorched the land. The iconic French knights who fought in those early days would not have recognized their own military a century later. The English longbow, once the scourge of France, was no match for French artillery in the last years of the war. And by 1453, France's border looked very different, growing to encompass territories once claimed by England and their allies. After enduring a century of conflict, France emerged as a transformed nation. The country and its people had persevered and unified into a kingdom that could defend itself. Against all odds, France had won the Hundred Years' War. At Formigny, the roar of cannon